how's it going everybody welcome back to another once human guide today we'll be talking about sanity how it works and what you can do to help uh get your sanity back i know when i started out there was really no video on sanity and how it worked um and there still isn't as i'm recording this but without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the video there will be beginner intermediate and more advanced stages so skip through the video as you'd like to uh, find out if you're level like 25 30 you may want to skip to the end because i'm going to start off with the basics first Alrighty. so first thing we're going to be talking about is how sanity actually works in this game so if you go ahead and press i you'll see this health bar right here this is your sanity bar your sanity will decline when you encounter monsters or enter pollution zones losing sanity will reduce your max hp current max hp reduction is 20 percent when your sanity drops more than half you get a whim. You can only have six whims at any given time. As you can see here, this is how much health I have. And then right here, you'll see this blue bar. This is my sanity level. So I currently do not have max HP because I'm hungry. So if I was to eat, let's say, for example, this raw meat, my sanity goes up because it's not cooked or anything. So if there is something you can do in the beginning stages of this game to help balance that out obviously you start with something like this a tent around the world you'll find different various of vegetables we'll look for mushrooms mushrooms is a great deal if you craft with your bare hands or pressing f on your tent you can go ahead and craft grilled mushrooms right here and it actually raises your sanity up unlike this other food that still lowers your sanity a lot of these other foods still lower your sanity as you can see with the red arrow but you can go ahead and craft this once crafted you can go ahead and eat this even if your hunger is full if you eat this as you can see it took a little bit of sanity off now you may also find these around the world these are sanity gummies you can craft these with a stove once you get a base set up um as you can see it gives you 200 sanity back so if i was to take one of these right now it just like completely wiped out my sanity now there is a place where you can buy these most outposts have these so i am quite a bit high level there is a deadsville level two uh outpost right here if you were to teleport here which for some reason i currently can't i think you can buy three here but it's for the week which is quite a bit i think that's a very long time so you like a week in real life before you can buy more down here i think you can buy five um but still has the week period and then when you get up here for more advanced people um for like level 25 you can buy super sanity gummies they're red and they give back 500 uh sanity back but now without further ado let's go ahead and move into the more advanced options so once you have a base built you'll be able to craft beds beds are extremely useful for taking away sanity for free without using food or sanity gummies if you don't have any i know at the beginning stages i we just couldn't craft it we couldn't find beads we just couldn't find sugar it was a hassle but if you lay in bed here you'll see i'll start feeling relaxed if you look at the bottom of my screen you'll see my health is slowly going up um, and it's taking away, uh, or it's giving me my sanity back. Um, so you could just lay here the entire time and wait till to fully, uh, recharge. But I'm not going to do that because I have other ways to show you. Now, if we go ahead and head upstairs in my base, it's quite a big base. You, you can go ahead and head right over here to an electric stove. Now, you don't need an electric stove. This is just what we have or i upgraded us too but this is how you craft the sanity gummies you need sugar and purified water i feel like they changed this recipe i think you needed one more thing last time um but yeah so another thing we found out and my cousin actually showed me this is if you head upstairs you can unlock these things called bathtubs what's cool about a bathtub is you hook it up to your water source which i will have a video on this crazy water source coming out here soon um, and you go ahead and take a bath. It is finicky to get in it. Um, come on now. 
Let me take a bath. It's kind of like keep moving to your... Yep, there we go. So your character will get somewhat naked and get in the bath, and it takes even more sanity away from you. As you can see, it's taking a big chunk. Um, obviously, we're going to get out of there before my sanity is completely gone, because I do have one more way that I found to help you with your sanity. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. If you craft this thing called the fridge, this is even more advanced. You got to have or defeat the tier three boss to get this. You come up to it. You can craft the ice. You press G for the ice. You take the ice cubes. As you can see, I have ice cubes. They do decay extremely fast because it's ice. But if you were to use it, you get 50 sanity back. And as you can see, my sanity is completely back. Now, you can avoid getting sanity on um, plenty of ways. So if you upgrade your mask, you go to gear here, your mask, you will see uh, pollution resistance and a PSI intensity. The pollution resistance is what you want, which means the less sanity you get. Obviously, if you're eating food, I think that bypasses the pollution resistance. This mainly helps with uh, pollution zones. Pollution zones tend to be very high areas, so bigger areas like this, um, over here in gray water, areas like this. So the bigger areas tend to be pollution zones, or around those areas tend to be pollution zones. But that's what I found to help me out, so I just wanted to give you all that information. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe as you see fit, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Goodbye.